Afternoon everybody, New Hampshire Hobby Logger here. Uh, today's about, I think it's the, uh, April 7th, and um, we're still trying to get rid of the, trying to get rid of some of this snow here. It's been pretty pretty sluggish and it's cold and raw today. We've had a couple little showers and stuff, but the snow banks are still there. But we're trying. We're trying real hard to get rid of this uh, winter. We're getting excited about getting back into the, uh, uh, getting the gasifier going. And one thing I want to bring up, uh, and what I've been messing around with here for the last day or so, is uh, a new idea that I'm going to try out um, uh, with an, as another filter before it goes to the carburetor of the engine. So let me get zoomed in here on uh, uh, what we got going here. What I decided to do was the last of the uh, runs there, I don't know if you can see it well, but the, I brought the... Uh, the uh, long pipe out that feeds the into the carburetor there and it got this kind of a, a grayish I don't want to call it really soot but kind of a gray film on the inside of the tube and I know that's probably not supposed to be there and that's right in there you can see it on the contrast there probably so what I've tried to do uh, is add one more filter along the way before it gets to that carburetor and of course these would be coming uh, this this pipe here gets hooked into the uh, the last of the, the four filters or tri filters like flash has there and then this goes directly to the wood gas uh, carburetor and air mixing valve and then into the carburetor of the engine so i'm going to add one more filter so what i've done is um i can get this out of the way what i've done is i have an old uh uh, well, one of my machines there, the wood processor, has air filters on it. And I just got looking around in the shop and I found one of the, one of the old, old uh, filters. And let me get this back out of here a little bit. There we go. So I cleaned it up and if it works, I'm, I'll probably end up getting a new one. But uh, I do have uh, these in stock anyhow for the, for the machinery and stuff. So I thought, well, that's about as good a filter as you're going to get for anything. So what I'm going to try to do is incorporate that into a, 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 just a regular old five-gallon plastic pail and see if we can't uh, make that work. So I'll just kind of show you how I, how I went, went about doing it. Um, if you're interested in this filter, uh, and I'll let you know as, as we go along whether it works or not, um, it's a Wix, W-I-X, and the number is 42126. So it's got a hole about yay big around on it, and I'm guessing that's 3 inch. And that's the uh, in outtake side there, uh, these veins here. So what I did, so I'll step over on this side. Make this thing turn around here so I can see it. Um, this is already pipe that I had in stock. I just took a, uh, uh, yeah, I took a pair of pliers and a, and, and, and a screwdriver and I pried off this uh, little metal ring on that thing there that came, uh, and that whole assembly just came right out of there. And um, then uh, this two inch pipe, the Schedule 40 stuff, seemed like it was really close to fitting in there and it wouldn't quite fit so uh, I uh, took my uh, my propane torch and I just heated it up around the, the inner ring of that a little bit just enough to get it going and before I did I took the uh, uh, the, the other piece of the pipe that was on this actually was longer but I've cut it down um, and I took it and put, took it over to the wire wheel and I and I kind of just tapered this edge off so that it would um, slip in there easier so I, I heated that up a little bit not very much just enough to get it soft and it pushed in just beautiful and boy it's locked right in there that is that's 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 pretty good so I'm going to leave that right on there and then I put on a, a diffuser like that that I added that T onto it so that that will spread the the wood gas coming in, because it's going to be coming in from this side from that pipe, we'll get a reducer on there. And then it's going to kind of just swirl around and fill up the bucket. So 
at that point then I had to cut out a there's not much room in the bucket so I had to uh, get this so it would sit like that I don't know if you can see that I gotta get tipped up here a little bit <clears throat> and then this did sit right down in there pretty well of course you have to pry off you gotta cut these little uh, the rings here, some of the new ones now, they just got a snap ring that you pull all the way around. And this is going to snap right back down real hard again. That's, that's, uh, that's going to work out real well. So that's going to seal that up well. So what we have then is you got the filter inside, right in there. And then I had just finished making a, I want to keep that down there fairly tight. You know, I really don't have to because it's, um, you know, it's still got to come up through here. Even if it came up through here, it's not a big deal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut a hole in the bottom of the, uh, the thing there and put a washer on it, seal it up, and then I can bolt this right down, right, right down solid onto that. And then I took some of this 4-inch uh, or 3-inch stuff here, and I'd have to get on my other glasses so I can see what the heck it is. And I, well, anyhow, I did cut out another slip ring to fit here, so this is going to be flush. That's going to set right here, up on that, and that'll, that'll press right in, press right onto that, and keep that filter from moving around in there. So that's going to go on there, and this is going to go right like that. And then this little riggy, it's got the adapter on there, the slip ring, and that's going to get pushed right down into the I know it will I'm going to have to work on that for a minute. I'm going to pause out. Well, anyhow, I can keep going here for a minute. What that's going to do is that slip ring, that'll fill in this gap right here. We'll put that all, all on like that. And then I have a uh, a couple of these guys here, these rubber uh, things there, and that actually slides right in there just fine. So that'll be nice and tight. And then I'll start reducing it down. I'll start reducing that down so that I can uh, hook that right into the carburetor. So that's my idea. And um, and then the, when we get it all set, then we'll snap this top right back down on there. That's a good snug snap-on fit. So um, we're going to try that as our last the very last filter before it goes into the, the engine and the mixing, mixing valve there and stuff. So we'll uh, keep you uh, posted and uh, we'll see how it does. So with that, have a good day.